Uh, one of the more interesting characters uh, is uh, Joseph Harris Jr., um, who's the son of Joseph Harris Sr., who is the godfather of the shipping canal, which really opens up uh, Sturgeon Bay as uh, both a lake and bay port and changed the city forever. But Joseph Harris uh, Jr. is a skilled boat builder, but when he gets back from the Civil War in the 1860s, he gets a job as the lighthouse keeper on Dunlop Reef Lighthouse, which you know rests right in the middle of the uh, the harbor of Sturgeon Bay, and uh, he's rowing uh, you know the inspector out, uh, the lighthouse inspector out to see his lighthouse, you know, and the inspector's looking around, going, "Gee." This is a really nice boat, you know, and much nicer than what we have uh, elsewhere. And so from that sprung contracts with the Lighthouse Service and later the Life Saving Service to build high quality small row and sailing boats. And so he quickly sees that this Lighthouse Keeper gig is good, but I can make a lot more money and do uh, more with, uh, with my boat building skills. And he would employ other guys who eventually would spring off uh, after he gets out of the boat building business at the turn of the century, the turn of the 20th century. A lot of his guys that work for him, they would be the, the birth of Sturgeon Bay Boat Works, which would later become Palmer Johnson. You know, back to Joseph Harris, uh, you know, his government contracts, if you will, spring from the fact that, you know, this lighthouse uh, inspector sees that he can get a very high quality boat, higher quality than he is getting from other people at a good price, you know, delivered on time, uh, you know, and as the shipyards start to grow and the shipbuilding industry gets bigger, that quality continues to be sort of the linchpin uh, to uh, their success. Thank mm -hmm. you.